Hi guys, welcome to the podcast, Ice X Podcast. We're going to be doing transfer news today. Now, this isn't something I normally do, but we're going to be talking about one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. Now that's it. So seven transfers in today's episode. If you do, if you do like this content at the end of the video, please drop a comment on do you like the transfer news? Obviously, I'm not as professional as Oscar or ZanoMG. I'm just speaking to you. But here we go. Manchester United news from Manchester Evening News. Manchester United transfer news. Live Man United very close to Rafael Varane transfer. Follow throughout the day for the. Sure. Right. Uh, very close to Varane transfer. Now, I think that could be a good move for him. I know Man United have been in a bit of a... bit of a sticky situation. We'll call it that. So, I think if if he could... Because with the signings of him and Sancho, you've got... Right, let's go through the team. You've got Henderson in goal, Shaw, Maguire, Varane, wan uh, Rashford, Van der Beek, Pogba, Sancho, Cavani. Is that it, I think? Yeah. So that's a good team. Honestly, um, I think Varane should go to Man United. He, they're honestly, they're, they're a historic club, obviously, but yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a prediction on whether I think it's going to happen or not. I think the possibility of this happening is 9 out of 10. Or, no, I'll go 8.5. 8.5 out of 10. So, Varane to Manchester United is an 8.5. There we go. Liverpool transfer news. They have got interest in the little man himself, Insigne. Renato Sanchez, interest. And Kylian Mbappe could be going there as well. Now... Don't think he'll ever go to Liverpool. I think he's destined for Real Madrid. Hopefully, it doesn't happen the same that happened to Hazard. They buy him from a club for a lot of money and then he's a flop. Um, don't know why they want more wingers. Maybe they're looking to shift on Mane. I don't know. Um... Yeah, had been interest for some clubs for, for Mane, so maybe... I think Lorenzo Insigne could be good, but I just feel that Mane may be better. Killing Mbappe, I've said about, I don't think he's going to leave. I, I think he is going to leave, but it's not going to be to Liverpool. Renato Sanchez, yeah. I'm going to go with a 9.5 for Renato Sanchez. I think he's had a good season with Lille. I think he wants to move on now, so I think that maybe Liverpool is a bit of a step up. I think he should go to a club like maybe Arsenal's, uh, so I think, yeah. They are my predictions, so Insigne, I'm going to go with a 6, because I doubt that's going to happen. Renato Sanchez, 9.5, and Mbappe, I'm going to go a 5. Uh, I'm going to go a 6, actually, not a 5. Announced Bissouma. Excited Arsenal fans react after the latest summer transfer deal is confirmed. Um, okay. So Bissouma, I didn't... Let's have a little Google search here. Bissouma to Arsenal confirmed. Okay. I think he's gone, I think, from what I'm looking at here. He's yeah, signing confirmed, so obviously this is a 10, because it's happened. Um, do I, What do I think about this? I don't really know, because... Um, hmm. I'm not quite sure what to make of this, because Basuma, yeah, he's a good midfielder, but... Like... Why does Arsenal want him? Surely you go for Ronaldo Sanchez. Unless they think that Liverpool are going to sign him. Which, in this case, my predictions are absolutely crap. Because I thought Spain were going to go through, but obviously they won't. Um, so, yeah, Basuma's gone to Arsenal. 
don't I don't know what to feel about it. I mean, yeah, okay, he's a good player, but maybe Gwen Dog Doos is better. I don't know. But there we go. So obviously that's a thing that's happening. That's guaranteed. Let's have a look at the third deal of the day. Now this is Ranger. Now this is two parts to it. Okay. We can talk about Incony Lundstrom and possibly outgoing Morales and AR. So um Yeah. We'll be looking at AR, Morales and John Lundstrom. So John Lundstrom has gone for like I think two million or something. I think he's Scottish, so that makes sense. He'd go to Rangers. Um Although it it I've heard somewhere that he's a Scouser, but I don't know. Maybe his parents are Scousers, I don't know. Uh, Morales, now, um, I don't know where he's linked to, but I, I can't see him leaving somehow. I, I think they'll try to sign down to a new contract, even if it's for an extra year, but I don't think he's going to leave. Now, Christoph IR, this is an interesting one because he's linked to Newcastle. Now... If I was him, I would probably go to Newcastle, but I'm not Norwegian, I'm not a centre-back, and I don't play for Celtic. So, um, yeah, he's a quality centre-back. He, he's really good, he's really good. Um, Newcastle, no. Again, it's a thing where a club like Arsenal should be trying to buy him, because David Luiz could be going to PSG, so they're obviously looking for a centre-back to park Gabriel. And I think IR and Gabrielle would be a brilliant partnership. But we're going to move on swiftly now. Um, wow. Arsenal, 73 million for Ben White. Oh, my God. That is insane. 73 million. Imagine what Brighton can do with that. Jesus Christ. Anyway, um, possibility, I'm going to go with a six. I don't think Ben White is going to go there. The possibility for Lundstrom is obviously a ten because it's happened. Morales, I'm going to go four because I don't think it's going to happen. Christoph IR, probably a seven because it might happen, might not. Everton transfer lose Piotr Golini link. Matthias Nunes claim. Hamish Rodriguez in interest. Also, with Howard Stefarovic and Joshua Zerksi and more. Um, Gullini? Oh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't think Gullini would want to go to a club like Everton. Because I think they could put... The one, they could do better. And two, I don't think he wants to move to Everton. So, possibility five. Don't think that's going to happen. Now, Hamas Rodriguez. Now... I don't think there's been a dead set rumour. I think he's rumoured to quite a lot of clubs. Okay, yeah, he's brilliant. Amos Rodriguez, yeah, he's he's in like the prime of his career. I think he can do really well. Yeah, but I can't see him moving anywhere, at least for one more season. I think he's probably gonna stay at Everton, cement his place, and then he's gonna look to move, okay? Um so hang on, how many have we done? So one, two, three, four, five, six. There's one more, which is the lock of tally. Now this is interesting because he's 34 million, and as I said in my last podcast episode, he's had a really good season so far with Sassuolo and a good Euros. Uh, Arsenal have been linked with a move for it's. Italy international, Manuel Locatelli as Mikel Arteta looks at bolsters midfield options. Nine hours ago, yeah. Their midfield is, is absolutely crap. Like, think of the days they had Fabregas, Vieira, all of those. And now they've gone to Gwen Dogduzzi and Granite Jacker and Emil Swift Wright. It's just not the same. Locatelli, yeah. Uh, I think he should go there. That'd be a good move for him. Eight. 8 out of 10, I think, possibility. I think he'll probably try to move there. 
I've watched many things such as Football Daily saying he's going to try to move to Juve if that's possible. But there you go. So, um, I think that'll conclude it. If you have enjoyed, make sure you drop a like. We'll be making a quick video after this um, about the further the views. But I will see you later. Have a good rest of your day, guys. And I will see you soon. Bye. Three lions are the shirt.